Hey there, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to review first trade. If you will like this video, there will be a link for registration down below in the description. So let's start. What I love about first trade is that you have free ETF, free stock and options trading. And now there is a question, how can it be free? It's because they are taking interest out of the account balance that you have in your account. So they are not like cheesing you that they are going to take commission there, commission there. And it's really good. But what I don't actually like about first trade is that you can't, let me show you, you can't trade Forex, futures, CFD and crypto. So if you're in ETF and stock, even from the long term position and also to options or bonds or funds, go with the first trade. It's a really good choice. If I should compare first trade to other mm, brokers, first trade is really similar to trading 212 and it's much better comparing to plus 500 but plus 500 is focused more on cfd but that's for another talk now account opening okay it's full digital slow account verification you don't have any withdrawal fee any uh like when you want to invest money there but first trade deposit options you can only go with a bank transfer you can go with a credit debit card or electronic wallets that's kind of meh but it's all right now, trading platform is user friendly, pretty good, but it looks kind of oldish, if I should name it like that. Now, when we go to the markets and products, as I mentioned, you have stock, you have ETF, you have fund, bonds, options, but you don't have futures, CFD and crypto, so and Forex. So again, stock, ETF, options, good choice. Now, research, pretty good. But now, uh, also, the cons is that you don't have live chat and 24-7 support, but you have phone support and relevant answers on your on site. And education, this is the one thing I don't actually like, is that you don't have demo account there. And that's pretty much it. So, first trade has been here for a really long time. You don't have inactivity account fees, and that's good. But... First, it doesn't provide credit, debit cards and electronic wallets. If I should like compare, if I should compare to other brokers, then trading 212, that's like on the same level. It's in my opinion, better than eToro uh, because on eToro you have inactivity fee and also withdrawal fee. Uh, Degiro, Degiro and trading in 212 is better in that way that you can have uh, accounts in multiple currencies so you can have euro usd or also i think uh, hungary currency and also the great britain currency and also if i should compare this to interactive brokers then interactive brokers is much more expensive than you, you don't have the free etf stocks and options and also but interactive brokers is much more safe but the ux and ui the design of the platform it's complicated and it's not that easy to invest through the interactive brokers so this video is pretty much it thank you very much everybody for watching if you have any questions guys ask me down below in the comments i'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance some support but yeah have a great day and if you enjoyed this video you can register through the link down below in the description goodbye